In just about three and a half hours from now, DC and Maryland will take a big step to crack down on gun trafficking in our area. Jess Arnold joins us now live from the uh, DC District Court and Jess, the attorneys general will make an announcement there with some big implications for our area. What can we expect? Yeah, well, that announcement's coming at 10 a.m. right over there by the statue from the attorneys general in terms of the specifics. They are keeping that under wraps until the official announcement is made. They just said a joint action addressing illegal interstate gun trafficking. So we'll have to see exactly what that entails. But this kind of regional action officials and advocates of like have been saying is extremely important. Of course, D.C., Maryland and Virginia all are really close to each other. Each has their own laws regarding guns. And so being able to work together to establish one action, one approach to dealing with this kind of issue, they say, will really hopefully help to finally address a lot of these problems that we've been seeing with gun trafficking. Now, I did take a look at how many firearms DC police recovered recently to get an idea of how big this problem is in the district. Last year, it was more than 3,100 guns, which is more than the prior year. About a week ago, they found 53 guns, including ghost guns, high caliber handguns, rifles, and more. And when we talk about crime, though, DC police data shows that it is down. Violent crime down 36% and homicides down 29% from the same time last year. But those statistics mean nothing to the people who still live with daily gun violence. I asked a longtime anti-violence activist what he thinks about the data. Like anybody else, I'm glad to see the numbers uh, going down. And yet in a lot of our communities, a lot of our neighborhoods, you know, we are still seeing uh, a high impact. Uh, on a daily basis uh, from community violence. So it really depends on where you live, what your zip code is, what your street address is, um, as to whether or not, you know, you're actually seeing a real time in real life um, reduction in violence. Now, Pastor Golston did tell me that he plans to be at this announcement again when it starts at 10 a.m. We'll be there as well, so I will be posting updates as we get them to let you know exactly what the specifics are of this joint initiative. Guys. All right, Jess, thank you so much. And stay tuned on Get Up DC at 9 a.m. and WUSA 9 News at noon for the latest. And again, that news conference is happening at 10 a.m.